neither remote, your four-legged friend might be to blame because the UK's first TV channel for dogs <laughs> has launched today. Ned, sit. Uh, created after three years of research, Dog mm -hmm. TV has been designed to alleviate stress and separation anxiety when your furry friends uh, are home alone. But does it really work? Well, Stand today up. we're joined Sit. by Dr Nicholas Sit. Dobman, uh, the Chief Scientist of Scientific Officer behind the channel, alongside Dr Scott, who's here in the studio with us. Good morning to both of you. Um, so let's start off with you first, please, uh, Dr Nicholas. You've got... Um, this is the first subscription of, of its kind here in the UK. Um, what makes this... It's so unique. Well, the fact is this program is designed specifically for dogs with about you know, 60 scientific publications behind um, what makes it good. Um, you know, how dogs see, how dogs hear, what dogs react to. Do dogs see TV in the first place? The answer is yes, they do today. Um, so it was perfect timing to start a program specifically for dogs that has no talking heads, just basically dog material, things that dogs like to see and so on. So here it is. So what's, today. The, what's the science behind it? Because the dogs watch TV in a different way to us. They see TV in a different way to us. Well, in the old days, um, they did see a flickering screen, which wasn't much fun. It was like looking at a movie out of the 1920s. Um, but as television has advanced, the so-called flicker fusion rate has increased, so now dogs see a continuous picture. And sure enough, they do not see the full color spectrum that we do, because we're trichromatic. We have three different types of color receptors in the back of our eye. Um, dogs only have two, so basically they don't see red. Um, and they are the equivalent of a red-green colorblind person. So actually, Dog TV has modified those colors to be much more vibrant for a dog. And so, um, ironically, this began with a cat. It was a cat that helped to, to discover this. Yeah, exactly so. It's um, uh, a person who became a friend of mine, uh, Ron Levy, who was sitting in his living room, noticed that his cat was staring at the television, watching something like a game of tennis or some such. Like and he went, wow, I wonder why... You know, this is a brilliant idea. I wonder why... Um, we don't have a television program for dogs because they're not interested in stuff we watch. Um, and that was the uh, original idea. Um, and we were going to do a dog TV, cat TV, and then a, a channel for people. And some of that's materialized, but dog TV is the, the main sort of flagship right now. And as you said, launched today. So did they binge watch? What, what sort of shows have you got? Um, well, in answer to binge watch, um, most of them don't. Um, they, you know, hear a noise that we've put there, a squeaky noise or some such to attract them, and they, they look at the screen and they see something that is designed to be interesting to them. You know, dogs like to see other dogs. They like to see people. They like to see terrains over which they roam, whether it's streets or running through grassy fields. Cameras held down at dog level so that it looks exactly like what a dog would see. And they've watched that for you know, maybe a minute or so and go like, wow, that's interesting, or longer. In one study we did, we did find a Maltese who was a bit of a binge watcher. Uh, he watched TV for 81% of the time we recorded him, but most of them aren't couch potatoes. They just, uh, you know, snatch uh, a, you know, a quick look and um, it enriches their environment because there's something for them to see and they go like, wow, that's yeah. cool. Until the next time there's another squeaky noise and they look on the television and they see the other script and they might hold hold it for a while and watch or they might just uh, you know look away and go hmm, not for me yeah well it's about the um dr scott we were talking about in lockdown how dogs are so used to their owners being around at home more and actually this separation anxiety is a real problem for many people and their pets at the moment will something like this be the answer <laughs> well certainly it's been Ned. <laughs> Ned, Ned, Ned. Ned. Come back. Come back. i think it's Come causing back. you a bit more anxiety than it is the dogs but... so i mean ned have got this sorted then ned ned, ned, ned come back ned, ned, come here, come here, ned, come here. watch the come telly here, for goodness yeah. sake it's, it's kind of like dog goggle box at the moment. Go. It's like a dog watching telly on the telly. Uh, but dog anxiety, um, uh, canine separation anxiety sat is... sat my lap, Ned. <laughs> ...is a massive problem. Literally sat on my lap. And that's why he's doing it, because he wants to be close to you. And that's what our dogs want, is they, they are pack animals. They want to be by our side as much as they possibly can. 
And what we have to remember is that in the pandemic, it's become a pupdemic and that there's been a third yeah. increase in the population of dogs in the UK. And all of those dogs have grown up in this really weird developmental environment where they think that their owners should be home Dad. with them all the time. Dad. It's kind of like how Christmas is Dad. before, where dogs would just Dad. love Christmas. It's a time where you'll get together and we'll spend time Dad. together for a long time. These dogs have never Dad. known anything else. Dad. Their owner's there all the time. And that's where something like this, anything to give them attention, to give them something to be stimulated by go. home, I'm going to let go and be able to leave will be a good thing. Yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't hear a word you sorry. said. Sorry, it's OK. I'm just talking about <laughs> that. I just don't want Nathan to be saying because now own owner's just there. I want to be gone. Get the donut. Get the donut. Get the donut. He's fantastic. I think... Get the donut. But I think oh. they're responding to the noise and they're all at separate moments. Have Every time that yeah. ding, ding, ding goes, they all yeah. do stop and yeah. have a moment like, what's that? Well, the thing is, you can watch you can watch this. Dog TV is available on Android TV, Apple TV, Hello. Fire TV, Google Play Store, Apple's Hello. App Store and online. Six ninety nine a month. If you put it on the telly, um, I don't know how it works, but I've got Let's. that eco mode on my telly. So can you turn that off? Because my, my TV keeps Let's. asking me if I'm still watching. Uh, so that unless the dog can actually go, yeah, still watching. Yeah, I think you absolutely can. And look, also oh. what I would say is that this isn't a substitute for taking your dog for a lovely long walk, playing with them at home, treats and toys and gadgets to keep them stimulated and entertained. But this is just <laughs> another thing that we can offer Ned. that will entertain Ned. not only Ned there, who's uh, dragging Holly around. Why is do I get the naughty one? Is, is, like he's, he's a husky underneath all that fluff. Ned! <laughs> he's, not, he's, not, he's like a marine commando. <laughs> Look, he's gone into commando mode. He's just crawling across the floor <laughs> so that no one can see Stanley? him. Ridiculous. Stanley's Instead of watching dog TV, dog. he's just watching himself. <laughs> Stanley's being so well behaved. But yes, I do think that it, it's just another tool that we can use in the fight against <laughs> separation anxiety and that's always going to be a useful yeah. Oh, that's good. Oh, we better, Thank you know, you. I, I don't think any of us are listening. No. So I don't have separation anxiety, but I have an anxiety of another thought that's creeping in as I'm being dog. Yeah. Ned, Ned, do you want a treat? See, Scully, treat? you were so well. Oh, now you get the treat, Scully. Scully. Look, 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 That's fish. all I needed. Perfect. There you go. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, thank you. You're very welcome. Much indeed. Um, right.